first agenda item, uh, Katie Ford, Operations Manager of uh, City of Boston's Office of Housing Stability. Katie. Thank you. Um, so I'm actually here with my colleague, Caitlin Smith. The reason that we really wanted to meet with this neighborhood group tonight was because the city has noticed a lot of uptakes in buildings being sold, and that's really been happening in the North End a lot. Um, so we want to make sure that you all know your rights if you are in a building that's been sold or if you have friends and neighbors who are in a building that's been sold. But just briefly what the Office of Housing Stability does, our office is actually part of the Department of Neighborhood Development, and we were actually the brainchild of your city councilor, Lydia Edwards. She was our first deputy director, and then she moved on to run for office. So what we do is we do a lot of things. We assist Bostonians with identifying affordable places to rent and to live. We, um, we make sure that landlords and tenants understand their rights. And then we also um, guide people through rental housing emergencies such as evictions, fires, things like that. So we do workshops, housing search, uh, tenant and landlord rights responsibilities, workshops. We create guides. Uh, I have some over here. Renting in Boston, landlord responsibilities, information for victims of fire, eviction prevention and assistance, and building sold notices. And then we also have three housing crisis coordinators on our staff, so if you call our hotline, they can help you uh, figure out your housing situation. The city actually offers people up to $2,000 in order to uh, move out of a place or pay their back rent. And the state also helps with up to $4,000 in funding for the same uh, thing. So you can get up to $6,000, depending on your situation, to either stay in your current apartment or to move on to another apartment. Um, in addition to that, we also run the Metro List, which I recommend everyone sign up for. The Metro List. Metro list. Oh, it looks like you knew the Metro List. I'm sorry. So the Metro List has over almost 30,000 subscribers. That's our kind of one-stop shopping for all the apartment lotteries, um, the lotteries and any houses that are for sale through the Boston Home Center. Um, so that's a great um, tool for people to do housing search and to figure out affordable housing. It is online. Yeah, Boston. I can get your email tonight, and I'll, I'll throw you. I'll throw you on it. Okay. Correct. No, you don't have to go by City Hall. Um, we also launched the Housing Court Navigator Program. So if you know someone who's being evicted, the Office of Housing Stability has somebody on the fifth floor of the Housing Court every Thursday to help folks figure out what's going on in their eviction. Because unfortunately, right now, if in eviction proceedings, some was it seventy something percent. 78% 78 78 of landlords are represented and 7% of tenants are represented. So it's a big it's a big difference. We also offer mediation services for free or low or no cost, low to no cost. So if people are having trouble with their landlord um, or if landlords are having trouble with their trouble with their tenants, call us and we can help you guys figure it out. Um, we have a great landlord mediator who's been a landlord for over 30 years and is really good at working with people and preserving tenancies. Um, we also work with landlords, to be clear. Um, so we'll also support landlords in their communications with tenants. Um, and then we also are advocating for things at the legislature, such as rights to counsel for eviction cases, an act to protect elderly tenants, so that um, it will end no fault evictions for tenants over the age of 75. And then we also want to give tenants the right to purchase if a building's been sold. Um, so last year we prevented over 700 evictions. Each month, we handle over 100 uh, walk-ins and 500 calls. Uh, we've done housing search workshops all over the city. We've provided over $800,000 in financial assistance to folks who are about to lose their tenancy. And we also published an action plan to reduce evictions in the city of Boston. So I'm going to be here to answer any questions that you have. Um, and then Caitlin's just really briefly going to talk about your rights as a tenant if your building sold and answer any questions that you might have. Yeah, so we understand that um, North End is kind of a hot market right now, and uh, so some buildings are potentially being sold and being turned over, and, and sometimes that's necessary. Um, so we have these building sold cards with us uh, to hand out, but just explain some of the rights for tenants. Um, if a tenant, if you're under a lease agreement with the current landlord and the building is sold, the new owner needs to honor that lease. Um, Oh, the only person who can evict you is a judge through a constable. So just because your building is sold doesn't mean that you need to move out immediately. Doesn't mean that you need to move out within 30 days. Anything like that. You may get a notice in the mail saying you need to move out within 30 days. That's not true until you've been through housing court. Uh, and our office, the Office of Housing Stability, is happy to help tenants work through any paperwork or negotiate new deals with the new owners um, while they find a new place to live. Because typically when new owners come in, they want to raise the rents or renovate the properties, which we understand 
and you still need a place to live that's habitable and, and affordable. So we're happy to help you. Um, feel free to call our office if anything happens. If you know anybody who's in this situation, send them our way. These cards are available. Like Katie said, we have plenty of our guides here on the table back here, and we're happy to answer any questions. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you both. Right. So the, the, the reason for this is that you've seen a lot of buildings being sold. That's right. and is, are you seeing like an uptake of, are, are there a lot of people using the services? Do you see any people from yes, the North End coming over? Yes, and they services? contacted us. There's actually a building, the um, Garden Court or Court Garden Court. Or like Garden Court, right. It's so where? 11 tenant building. And we were able to negotiate. They, you know, immediately they got a letter from the new owner saying, we're raising your rent 30%. Um, if you don't agree to that, move out by February 1st, right? So we were able to go in there. And the letter was sent on Christmas Eve day. Right. Oh, oh right. Great. Um, so we were able to go in there, talk to the landlord, talk to the new owner and the new management company, and get them to at least agree to sign them to a six month lease for new for their tenancies, because these people have been in month to month leases for a long time, like 20 years. Um, so we were able to help preserve 11 tenancies in that building. After that six month lease is up, though, I mean, you know, we still have to help them find housing and figure out what they're going to do. But we were able to give them some kind of security, let them know that they weren't, that they did not have to leave in February. There was another building recently on, oh my god, I can't remember the name of the street. It was not far from here, actually. There's a lot of things not far from here. I know. <laughs> 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 right, yeah, so can't remember the address. But, but we did have like one resident contact us and we were able to five units. So yeah, there's yeah. five units there, so we were able to then go to that building, give them a letter, explain to them what their rights were. Um, and I think that was really just helpful for people to know that the city was on their side. Uh, but yeah, so we've seen, it, compared to all the neighborhoods, um, you know, the North End and South, you have the most uh, buildings being sold right now. I can't believe there's still even buildings to be sold, honestly, in South anymore, but there are. So we just want to make sure that residents know what their rights are, and that's why we're really glad that you allowed us to come here and, you know, take some of your time tonight to let you know what's going on at the Office of Housing Stability. We really appreciate it. I'd like to open it up. Uh, okay. Anyone on the council have any questions? It's, it's at uh, Court Street, 26 Court Street. It's across the street from City Hall. It's where the old school building used to be. Yeah. What was the website? Our website? I don't know. What oh, did you say? It's part of Boston.gov, but okay. the Metro List is Boston.gov slash Metro List. And that's the website that lists a lot of the affordable housing opportunities in and around Boston, whether they're rentals or deed restricted home ownership opportunities. Just Google the way to Boston. Hopefully the right thing is Yeah, but I'll get your email and I'll make sure that you're yeah. on the Metro list and you're signed up.